So I bought this. Um, this is a book I bought at a thrift store for a quarter, I believe, and I am patching it together. I love it because the pages are paper and it's matte. It's also very large, which I love to work big. So systematically, one by one, I will be filling in this book. And ironically, it is a how to draw book. Um, and this is, you can find her on YouTube. And this is gonna be my new page for today. I found this image on Pinterest. I've um, been really into doing the fashion illustrations lately. Um, you can find those on YouTube and Awesome Art School as well. Um, the time-lapse version, okay, so what, well, let me back up. Uh, I'm very much inspired by this, but I would love to see her in color. So, um, something really, really dramatic. So this is gonna be my color scheme today. Um, just teal, red, and yellow. And um, I'm gonna see if I can incorporate this guy. So I'm gonna bring her to So I've just dried this with my heat gun and I really want to see if I can like transform this guy um, into somebody handsome that's going to be gazing upon her. So I just published my book How to Draw Fun Fab Fellas so I'm going to see if I can incorporate some of those things. Uh, that I have in my book to see if I can transform into something handsome. We shall see. So. So I know from writing this book that a kind of hot guy has these real angular, angular, what's the word, angles to his face. Now this is like a, you know, fat guy. <laughs> he's also not quite as three quarters as, he's more like a, I don't know, seven eighths turned, so. It's more like a combination of the front and three-quarter view. But I'm gonna do my best. I've never done like a draw over before. <laughs> we'll see what happens. He's got his Do pretty bushy eyebrows, but we're gonna have to kill those wrinkles and whatnot. I've never tried to make a grubby fat guy into a hot guy before. <laughs> See what happens. I think I'm gonna keep his nose, maybe make it a little bit. Make it a little bit, uh, not quite as large. Interestingly, I do tend to do bridges on my men's noses, what I don't do on the women's. He does have some good hair. I'm going to give him that. Let's see if we chopped off. Got 
chopped off his side here. I'm going to move his ear in. His hair is kind of awesome, actually. I'm okay with this big, giant hair. <laughs> it's kind of floppy. Oh, maybe not so much there. But we can gesso that out. We're going to lose maybe leave in a couple wrinkles, but like that's it. And his mouth here is hidden behind this mustache. So we'll see. I'm keeping some of these lines. I think we shaved a few. His ear is way too high, I just realized. Shaved a few years off of the old guy, don't you think? <laughs> nice. That's better. I need some creepy guy in there. You probably would see a little bit of this ear, too. Okay, so we have this onlooker. And I need to wait for that just so to dry on the other side. And normally I do the background first, but for today I just, I don't know why, but I just feel like getting these faces down sooner rather than later, which is definitely not something that I normally do. But I'm okay with it. All right, so she is going to be sort of taller up on the page because... So I need another layer of gesso to kind of correct her proportions. Good old gesso. If you ever make a mistake, oh, gesso will pretty much take care of that for you. It's like a magic eraser for your journal page. Plus, I don't really want all this mumbo jumbo from the back. Sometimes I like it when the, you know, the images come through. I definitely like that sometimes, and I definitely don't like that sometimes. <laughs> so, like. So I'm just slapping on some gesso. Make sure when you use gesso that you use an old paintbrush because it will totally destroy. I'm gonna probably move her hairline up a little bit. It will destroy your brush, your brushes for sure. And then this guy, don't forget about our friend. He needs a little bit gesso. Give him a haircut. <laughs> Get rid of some of this. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I just erased the ear that was right. Oopsies. 
Get rid of some of his multiple chins down here. Shave off a, few, a decade or two. You gotta get rid of the stash. Sorry, dude. Need a haircut. This is fun. I've never done a paint over a guy of a guy before. Can't forget our fun fab fellas. They uh, can have a place in our journal pages as well. I can draw those back on, but we just needed a little shaping up here. Okay, and then I need to let this dry also. I have my heat gun right next to me, so I, I don't record the drying process because that would be really snoring to do. Um, so I'm just going to turn my camera off and I will just know that I'm drying with my heat gun and I will be right back. I just realized too that her nose is too low because it's she's looking up. So you, that's why you can kind of see up into her nose. So I'm gonna probably move that also. So again, nothing a little gesso can't take care of. New problem. All right, so I'm just gonna redraw her nose is going to be up here. My gesso is still a little wet. So, I love this little curly cue for the Cupid's bow or whatever the heck this is called. of gesso since I raised my hairline. Oops. More on my guy down here. Oops. Sorry. Just adding a little bit more gesso to my man. Now I need to watch out for these colors because they will not play nice as they are all, um, they are all primary colors. So I need to keep them actually pretty independent of each other and I have no plan for this. I'm just going into Playtown. I know that I want her lips to be super red, so. Credit card was a ton of paint. Now, wasn't it? Whoopsies. <laughs> My sheet under it is red, too. So, in order for these not to mix, I need to make sure that they they're dry or else they will totally mix so again off camera I'm gonna shoot this with my heat gun and get it dry before I go slap on another color all right and I feel like I'm like embarrassed for this guy so I'm gonna put some clothes on him like ASAP 
<laughs> so I just have some black. I am kind of in the credit card groove, so I'm going to just give him a shirt like Oh, I feel better already. He was creepy all naked up top. And she, she's going to have black in her hair. And I think her cool eye things are going to be black also. I'm half tempted to like get this started. Oh yeah. Just like that. I know I have to, I'll have to excavate her eyes back out, but I just couldn't resist. <laughs> And sometimes when you can't resist, you shouldn't resist. Um, I wonder if she shouldn't have on a black too. A top too, we'll see. Let's see here. I need some of this teal like stat. Wipe off my credit card. Gesso in there too. Didn't mean to do that, but too late now, sucker. Credit card is like the fastest way to get something edgy down, I find. I'll give her like a off the shoulder kind of thing. this side to get like black where are you give it an outline oh that's cool I'm just making this up as I go but I like that and all right he should uh, Sorry, I'm now just talking to myself. I'm wondering if he shouldn't have black hair as well. I'm kind of digging. Oh, I'm kind of digging the credit card. But then I forgot to wash off the blue. So now he's going to have black and blue hair. All right. All right, so that's not working so well. When experiments go horribly wrong on camera. Oh well. That is hilarious. I should go get my palette knives, but they are in the garage and I'm too lazy to go get them. He's gonna have like a hot guy, you know. Oh my god, come on, credit card. There we go. Give him like a full on swish happening. There we go, Mr. Hunky Hunk. Get some black going on up there. Feel the tension already between these two. I really did want like a splash of that yellow, but maybe I'll just end up splattering it. That'll be pretty fun. This is so random, <laughs> but who cares? All right. what you can do with a credit card besides spend all your money. All right, again, I'm gonna blast this with my heat gun and be right back. All right, I've been drying this thing forever. So I know I'm gonna do her lips and I want these to be real 
real red. Just like a little dip right there. Maybe not that much of a dip, but there is no too late. Very Marilyn Monroe right now. to that but that's just like a base coat to get us started. I'm still waiting for her stupid eyeball eye things to dry. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to use the yellow that I've been dying to use actually for her hair. I'm really trying to actually just care very little about this and just go for it. Oops, I, I just splattered some on the other page. See? Doing my work for me. So, blah, blah, blah. Let's get a brush out. I'm going to have this dark like it appears on uh, the page. But the only problem with yellow is that it's stupidly never opaque when you want it to be. But then again, that's kind of neat because it adds to the graphic style of like the images coming through. So actually I could work with that. And again, this is not like a commission. It's just me playing in my art journal and having a really good time. So, and then this is going to be dark as well. Um, and on this side, let's see, it goes up and then this is going to come down close to her face and then it goes out and I know this is very weird for me to be so exacting I normally just don't even care but again I really like what they have going on with her so I'm taking with it what I like and I'm not sorry Ooh, this goes like out so then this goes with this very like comic strippy I think I might end up doing like I actually really like how her eyelashes are not those triangles but these just straight up eyelashes I kind of like that and then Do. to keep this real graphic that graphic style I'm gonna do black on the underside of her hair and like here But then I think to tie it in, I'm just going to use like black. I'm going to scribble all over this with either my black stabilo or, yeah, something. So it reads right. Right now it's just going to become real blocky. But that should go away when I doodle on her. Oh, you will be doodled in my door. Okay, that just sounded wrong. So 
So it be, reads a little strong, but I think I think it's going to be okay. And if not, whatever. I'll just keep working at it till it makes it right. Till I make it right. Or at least until it reads right. And do do do. All right. Ew. This is a little dumb up here. And I just stuck my forearm in the black. Awesome. And again, time to dry. No, is it driving you crazy that I'm not doing my face? <laughs> I always do my faces last because it's like saving the best for last. No, I really do. It's like I think because I know it's when I get to that part, I'm almost done. It makes me sad. So, all right, I'm putting some yellow up over here. I don't know if that's even, even going to be tie it in enough. Oh, it's fine. I actually wanted something like actually even a little bit more bold, but make sure I get it. Those areas so you can really see it. And I'm sorry, I never know what people are like, which scent is that? I'm like, I don't know. I rip open my art supplies and go to town and I don't act, respect packaging or ever take note of what it is. <laughs> sorry. You can use bubble wrap with this too. It works perfectly the same way. I okay, got all my colors in. I'm so happy. normally pick a color scheme so clearly as that but today I just I just felt I already knew I wanted to do something kind of bold so there she is all right so grabbing my whoop Jerry's Artorama this is like a jumbo pencil I, oh god everything is wet I like it because um It's, I don't know, jet black and yummy. So when you do men's faces, you have to make sure to like, kind of keep the lips on a, on the DL because it can get very womanly very quickly if you make them too juicy, you know? I think it's so funny. I hate the double standard of the men and women. It's like men can have these giant honking noses and, you know, big wrinkles. Like I always actually add wrinkles to my guys. And it's like, what the heck? Why does that look good? I would never add a wrinkle to a woman's face, you know? And then I get a little pissed at the, like, <laughs> double standard. It is patently unfair. But one way for to get your guys look ma look to look manly, and I go over this in my book a lot, is like just make sure that you uh, keep your keep everything real angled, real angular. The only like good circle is should be his eye, people. Um, but I think he looks good. Got like a mouth muscle going on here. Maybe he's got like a. Cleaned up okay. We can even put some. See what I mean? I just added some more wrinkles. What the heck's up with that? Some hair drawn in here. I kind of like it when you mix graphite with paint. It's cool. Da, 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 da. So, yeah, I think I'm going to shade him with my pit pens, but he's looking pretty good, don't you think? Maybe, or maybe I can... Oh, yeah, I'll get a little manly. 
if I could do this. I think this will activate a tiny bit when I add the Mod Podge. We'll see. It's just a big science experiment, really. Just adding in like a little shading ahead of time. I mean, shading's kind of the same for men and women. Or we can make them scruffy by adding some shading down here. Do that. His ear is still way too high, but whatevs. Whatever. Um, and then I wonder if I blend that. It's cute. Oh, yeah. This time he's getting kind of scruff-tastic. Well, that worked way better than I expected it to. Oof, that works really well. I guess we'll give him a scruff here too. That almost worked like too well, I was like scary. Oh well, while we're here. <clears throat> so I'm blending that like super duper lightly. Wow, this guy's gonna get finished <laughs> a lot faster than I thought. This is why it's really important to play because I just discovered something new. I didn't realize that this was gonna be so easy to blend. I had no, I literally had no idea. So that's pretty cool. Actually, it saves me a lot of work. Just leaving this kind of highlighted. Um, I could actually carve out some more. It's like over shaded because that got it like was too easy. So I'm gonna take a racer and maybe carve out some highlights here. I need some color for the eyes. Never really overshadowed before. I need some like pale color for the eyes. And let's see his chin. We'll stick out too. Look how handsome he is. Remember how ugly he was before? Oh, you know what that is? I was like, why can't I get rid of that? That is the... That's the image underneath, like, bleeding through. So I was like, what's that big smudge under his eye? I can get a right, I can, I did draw, like, a fine line. Do like that. All right, well, hello, handsome. It's so nice to see you there. So funny. I do enjoy drawing men. I'm glad I have my book out. I know it's not as popular as my other ones because so many people don't draw men, but like, kind of don't you think you should? Look how handsome he is. All right, now I need, he does need an eye color though. Um, ooh, his eyes are very unequal. Let's see, should we give him the teal or would that be way too dramatic? That would probably be way too dramatic. Let me see. Or maybe I can color him in with my modge. My modge of the podge. All right. Oh, that was really, worked out really, really well. Let's see what else. She's still glamour girl. Um, all right. So I'm trying to figure out how to attack her eyes. I still have this part which I kind of don't really want, but I think I'm stuck with it because that, let me see if this erases well. Oh no, I probably won't erase because that's my Prismacolor. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> see what we can do. I'm hitting a conundrum here because I kind of don't want this anymore. I kind of just want that 
to be her eyelash line and not have this. So I wonder if I can rectify this. Probably could get away with it. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. This could be, this will might morph into like glasses or something. The problem is, as you know, that yellow is never gonna be opaque. So I don't know that you can ever cover it, really. Oh, but you could do gesso first, and then do, I'm like gesso this a little bit. Gesso is always your best friend. Gesso. Just sew that out, and then we'll just do another layer of, yeah, we can do that, and just do another layer of yellow on top of it. You can even, like, just sew more than one place, and this will become her skin. And then her eyes will go in there somewhere. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But I'm going to try this. I was wondering how I was gonna make sense of her eyes because they are really crazy. I'm mean, just so over this, but I do like these crazy eyelashes. Not sorry for those. Right, I'm gonna dry that and we'll put another layer of yellow on top. Okay, so my gesso is dried. Add back my yellow that I just sewed out. I cannot wait to like scribble all her hair in. That is going to be extremely satisfying. People, I know people struggle with hair, but it's honestly my favorite part. I think the thing with hair is to just not overthink it. You just slap it on and move on with your life. All right. I'm still so pleased about my guy. Look how handsome he is. All right, he looks like his, his eye, he looks like he has eyeshadow. That is a little bit like too dramatic. So I'm seeing if I can pick it up with my baby wipe. But oh well. Um, all right, yep, yeah, one more dry shot and then we're gonna finish her up. All right, wish me luck. I gotta excavate out her eye and I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use a white Posca pen to do that. Ooh, it would be better if it was like, like that. Today, all right. I'm gonna sharpen. I think I am gonna do my Stabilo because it's my favorite tool in the whole wide world.
So sometimes, or a lot of times, I dump it right on my page. But today I'm gonna be a little, I don't wanna give anyone any heart attacks. Give them a day off of heart attacks. <laughs> um, all right, usually I do use one this wide, but that's too wide. All right, so normally I start with the fragile things first, like her face, so it doesn't get too dirtied. Oh, too late by this process. This really freaks people out. But you kinda gotta just go for it. I don't know why this is so particularly dirty today. Oof. This is, I'm gonna grab a clean one. I wonder if I didn't have like stuff on her already. I'm gonna just, while it's still wet, actually wipe that away. Ooh, that's the first time I've ever had one muddied so much that I was actually like, ooh. Well, wow, good to know. I should not have added any in her eyebrows. Because <laughs> that has completely mucked up her face. But as with everything else, we'll just have to make it work. Interesting. But we do have options. You can paint over Watch Podge as well. Which is, I think, what we're going to have to do today. That's interesting. I do love how it looks in her hair, though. I'm going to do the whole page. Don't worry, you guys. Don't freak out. It's all fixable. Let's see how our handsome guy does. With that being on his face. Oh, he's fine. Good and rugged back there. So this just seals in all the paint. No, my pages don't stick. I always seal them with a acrylic sealer. At the end, so it doesn't stick at all actually. We are going to have to clean up her face. There's no two ways about it. So I'm going to dry this with my hair dryer and then we will get to work on fixing her and I promise all will be well. Actually, I was, I love my charge too. It dries so fast. All right, so I can fix her in a couple ways. I could paint on her, but I think I want to see if I can actually fix her using just my paint pens. My pit pens, sorry. So as you can see, she has come away with considerable damage. Um, so let's see, pit pens are made of like a permanent Indian, India ink, and I'm going to just see.
Well, this is a true mixed media project because now I'm getting out my bucket of gelatos. <laughs> because I am like just really need to just wrap this girl up and I am having a hell of she is giving me a really hard time. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. She is giving me a run for my money and kicking my ass at the moment. So I am taking some gelatos and I am trying to infuse her skin with like an acceptable skin color without having to paint because I'm kind of over the painting at the moment because she's killing me. So, oh my gosh, what is it, Sojo? Shasha! Cat gets so mad at me. She's, what is it? Hello, come here. What are you doing? Oh, he's so mad. This is his boat outside. And I was outside. And even though you went to let me in before, I wasn't ready, but now I'm mad because you took for your time to get me in, even though it wasn't any time at all. What are you doing? All right, I'm going to go get this girl out. I don't even know if this is dry yet. So essentially, these things have become her... Her, what's it called? Eyelashes. Not the drama that we had going on before, which was the just makeup. And her nose needs to get drawn in right this second. Zaza, what are you doing? What is this? What is this? Do you mind? Look at this. She comes up and then she starts eating the paper. Like, hello, am I not in the middle of something? Seriously. The nerve. Okay. No, you can't just sit down on her face. Someone wants a little bit of love and attention. I know, I know, I know, I know. Go away, go away. All right. I think what I'm also going to do is... Like, punch up the... Also use some eyelids problem. All right, yeah. And her nose. I think her nose is like totally crooked actually. <laughs> but you know, at this point I'm so done with her. What I should have done before was I think what set me astray was that dark color on the whoozy what's it's when I was trying to do her highlights with the Mod Podge. Oh boy. So well, gelatos are nice in this <laughs> in this application because I have such like a wet gunky base that they smooths quite nicely on here.
oh look at that my marker just like leaked as well great that's just awesome I'm on a roll today <laughs> oh my god hilarious I'm down some darker color in the lips because if I don't get her done in a second I'm gonna freak out I feel like she needs like a, a little teeth. I know I shouldn't be feeling that she needs teeth, but like she does. She needs big old teeth in there because I said so. Let's see. She needs some definition between her nose and her mouth. Oh, great. I had red on my finger. That's just swell. Yeah, that's just awesome. for the drama now because I'm so annoyed at her. 